everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious clam chowder. This recipe right here, it's amazing. So easy to make doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my clam chowder before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're going to need some potatoes. When I make clam chowder, I always use five potatoes. These are between large and medium potatoes, and let me show you how I've cut them. Okay, let me go in. Just like so, you don't want them to be big, you don't want them to be medium and not too small, just like that. You will need a beautiful sweet Vidalia onion. You're gonna need some garlic, and right here, we have two tablespoons of cornstarch. We also have five pieces of thick cut bacon. You will need a leek. You're gonna need some sweet corn, and it's optional. You will also need some heavy whipping cream. And right here, I believe we have five cans of the chopped clams. You will need some clam juice, okay? You will also need some chicken broth. And back this way, we have some milk that we're going to be using. You will need some oyster crackers. I'm gonna show you something really interesting we're gonna do with that. And also, some ranch dressing. You will need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need over this way. You will need some garlic powder, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, black pepper, and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe clam chowder. I couldn't be more excited for this here recipe. We love this recipe and what I love about it is it's so easy to make and listen here. You're not you're going to want to go back for doubles of this recipe. You're going to love it. So now, first thing we're going to do, you don't have to use leeks in order for this to be delicious, but I made it one time with the leeks and I was so happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the green foliage, okay? And now leeks are very, very very, very muddy, you can see that. Okay, that's all mud in there, but I am gonna show you in this video how to clean your leeks. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this top layer here. Okay, see all that mud? We'll get rid of it, don't freak out. Okay, but they have such a great taste. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop off that white part, leave a little bit of the light part. And then you come across this way, just like so, all right? And in between all of this, you're gonna see mud. It's okay, don't freak out. I can't stress it enough. You wanna use it, give it a try. You're gonna love the flavor. You don't need too much, okay? Just like so. And then I'm gonna come and cut half of this. Beautiful, that's a little bit more than half, but it's okay. Here's right here, we have a bowl of cold ice water, and then you just kind of move it around just like so, and then the sand and the dirt falls to the bottom, and a couple of times, we'll rinse it until it's nice and clean just like so. When I come back, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So next what we wanna do is we wanna start to chop down everything that needs to be cut. That's gonna be our bacon, that's gonna be our onions and our garlic. So we're not gonna use a lot of onion, you don't need a lot, okay? So we're gonna cut half of this onion and this, I would consider this to be a medium sized onion, okay? So we're gonna take the outer layer off. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you love clam chowder like I do. I am a true fan of some really good clam chowder. But I hate what I hate is if, you know, you go somewhere to purchase it and you can't taste the clams or you get a clam here and there. When Jeannie Young makes it or you make a Jeannie Young style, you're gonna have clams all throughout your soup. And I'm gonna show you how today. So what we're gonna do, let's cut down into this onion just like so. All right. 
like this. Like I said, don't use too much onion. We don't want to overwhelm the situation, you know. Just like this, when I come back, we'll get started on that beautiful garlic clove. So I've washed my leeks about three times until the water ran nice and clear. So we have the leeks, we have our chopped up onions, and there's one ingredient I almost forgot to tell you all about, but it's never too late, celery. You're gonna need some. Wash you some celery off, and here's how we're gonna cut down into it. Just like so, okay? Just like this. And I'm using, this is uh, three stalks. It's like half stalks. You don't wanna overwhelm it with celery, but you definitely need it. And then also, if you wanted to put some shredded carrots in here, great flavor. I'm just someone, I, I don't eat carrots. I'm not a fan of carrots. If I ever feel like a recipe definitely needs it, then I'll go ahead and put some in, but just a little bit. But we're not gonna do that today. But what I'll do in the description below, when I put the ingredients, I will put optional if you wanna put some shredded carrots. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna do, I've already cut the garlic and I've chopped it up nice and fine. Let's go ahead and take this time to chop up the bacon because we cannot start this gorgeous soup without uh, sauteing up some bacon. We're gonna cook this bacon until it gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown. We're gonna cook it on a medium high heat. And when it's nice, beautiful, and golden brown, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, so let's go ahead and get our chopped bacon into a nice hot pan. Let's get some gorgeous color onto this bacon. Use five pieces. Five pieces is always the perfect amount when you use the five cans of the uh, chopped clams and the five potatoes. It always works out. And we're gonna keep some of this uh, bacon to put on the top of our bowl just for a nice garnish. And you're also gonna need some fresh parsley to garnish the top. So I've opened up our cans of clams. Look how many clams we have. I am so excited. These clams are so delicious. I can just eat them right out of the can just like this. Now, I've taken just a couple of pieces of bacon. Remember I told you I'll be using that for garnish. And um, in the pan that I've sauteed up our bacon, I have taken a paper towel and I blotted out the unwanted oil but you will see that there is some oil still left in there. Guess what? We're gonna use that, keep it, okay? It's gonna give this clam chowder great flavor. Don't leave too much oil in it, okay? Last thing you want is oily clam chowder, just a little bit. Go ahead and put your celery, your leeks, and your onions right on top of that bacon. We're gonna saute it up until those onions get nice and translucent. You will see that the leeks and the celery start to get nice and soft, and when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, Prince and Polo are here. They're getting ready to be, they're getting ready to get a snack because they have been good boys today. Say hi. We have Pr uh, Prince on the right and Polo on the left. So now that our celery, our leeks are nice and soft, not too soft, and the onions have started to get translucent, which is clear in color, now we can go ahead and put that garlic clove in. Get that garlic clove in, let it get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And then what we're gonna do, we're also going to, if I can grab the rest of this garlic, get in there. What we're gonna do is put our drained and rinsed off potatoes right into the pan, just like so. Let's give everything a mix around, just like this. And we're gonna let everything cook for about eight minutes. After eight minutes, I'm gonna come back and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So we've let our garlic get golden brown for about seven to eight minutes. Now what I wanna do is we're gonna take the clam juice, we're gonna pour it in, but we're not gonna pour all of it in because I feel like some of the sand is always at the bottom of this jar. So really simple, just don't use it all. Okay, we'll use about that much and if there is any sand in there we're not getting it in our dish now this here this here is a glass of the clam juice that came out of the five cans that we opened get that in there we are going to boil 
our potatoes in straight clam juice and chicken broth. It's going to give amazing flavor. You don't need a lot of chicken broth. What I'm going to do is I just want to cover the potatoes. So now that the potatoes are nice and covered, I do want to go in and season. Now, we will be seasoning a couple of different times. You always want to taste your food so you know what you're feeding to your loved ones. Let's go in with a little bit of salt. Anytime you make potatoes, noodles, or rice, you want to use some salt to season, okay? We're going to go in with some black pepper, definitely. Now, these potatoes were cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and soft. We don't want the potatoes to turn into mush. So we've put salt, pepper, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, not too much, and then garlic powder. We're gonna cook these until they get soft. Like I said, not too soft. Once that happens, uh, we're gonna come back. Before all of that happens, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna make these amazing uh, crackers that I told you all about. Now I wanna share with you all these ranch crackers that my grandma used to always make. You could always go over my grandma's house and be for sure that there is a Tupperware dish with a lid on it that had these oyster crackers that are seasoned in ranch. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make and just how delicious they are. Here's what we're going to do. So you purchase the little tiny oyster crackers and they have no flavor. They just, you know, they taste like regular crackers. They're just like the cutest thing in the world, right? So what I'm gonna do, I usually use between a bag and a half or two bags. I think today we're gonna use a bag and a half. That right there might be enough, I believe so. Okay, so here's what she would do. Take the ranch seasoning packet. You all are familiar with that. You've seen me use it several times. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that ranch seasoning packet on there. Oh yeah, just like that. And then we're gonna use a second packet. When I use two bags, I use two packets. Even though I'm using a bag and a half, I'm gonna use two packets, okay? Or you can use a pack and a half, it's up to you. Let's get it in there just like this. All right, and then we're gonna take a soft spatula I'm gonna stir that gorgeous seasoning around just like so, and then guess what happens? Now we're gonna take some vegetable oil. Peanut oil, um, canola oil is fine. I don't suggest using uh, peanut oil. Uh, not peanut oil, what is it guys? Olive oil, because olive oil will really change the flavor of this that we don't want. Okay, so this is vegetable oil. Get you some on there. How much, Gina? Just put you some on there, relax. All right, just like this. Now we're gonna give it a nice turn. You don't wanna put so much oil on there to where these are oily. They should never, ever be oily. But enough oil to make that gorgeous seasoning adhere to the cracker. Now, what you do next is you let it set out without a lid, don't cover it up, and they kinda of dry out a little bit. And what I mean by dry out, the oil on it kind of, you know, soaks into the crackers. It never gets mushy. And this is a snack that you're gonna love. Your family members are gonna try this and they're not gonna be able to stop eating it because it's so delicious. A good 15 minutes and our potatoes are nice and tender. So now what we wanna do, now listen here, L let's just talk about it. Because I know a lot of you are gonna say, um, in New England, we don't put, <laughs> I know you're gonna say it, we don't put corn in ours. This is Gina Young's. Gina Young puts corn in it, it's delicious. If you don't want corn, don't put any in. I'm gonna put a little bit of corn in, just like so, not too much. You don't wanna overwhelm it. And then we're gonna go in with the clams. Beautiful clams. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many clams in there. You're gonna get a taste of the clam in every single bite. But it doesn't look like clam chowder yet. How come? Well, because we need to put some milk and we need to put some cream in there. Let's take the time to do that now. Not too much milk, okay? About that much, okay? Then we're gonna use a little bit more of the heavy cream. The heavy cream makes it nice and thick, all right? It makes it more chowdery, if that's a word. If it's not a word, we're gonna use it today, all right? Just like so, look how gorgeous. Turn this on a medium heat. We're gonna let that reduce down and it'll get nice and thick. But if it's not thick enough, we're then gonna take 
those two tablespoons of corn starch with a little bit of water to thicken it up as a finishing touch, just like so. Our clam chowder is just about done. So now, once we put the clams in, you know the clams are already, they're, they're already cooked, the corn is already cooked, all you really wanna do is heat those two things up. Let's put some parsley in. I'm not gonna use fresh parsley. I'm not a fan of fresh parsley, but this dried parsley is gonna give a great color. Get you some in there, just like so, okay? And then let's look at the consistency. Okay, so if you're not happy with this consistency right here, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna take that cornstarch slurry mixed with, you, the cornstarch that you mix with cold water, pour it in, and literally within two minutes, you're gonna have a nice and thick clam chowder. It doesn't take long for this to thicken up. Once this thickens up, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Okay, everyone, and it did. It only took two minutes for it to get nice and thick. Now that is what you call clam chowder. Look at that perfect consistency. And look at these huge pieces of the clam all through that spoon there. That's what you're wanting. Listen here, everybody. I'm gonna plate this up in a minute. But if you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Clam chowder, Gina Young style, make you so. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, I'm going to give you all a bite. Look at this. Come on, look at it. Oh, let's get that parsley. Get out of there. Come on out of there. Just for garnish. Now look at it. Oh, 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 mommy, talking about a true mm, mm, mm. clam chowder. Take a bite. Let me know what you think. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. A taste of clam in every bite. And then you want to taste some of those crackers? They are amazing. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Oh.